Enters reports accelerated. Unam Dikano, high pope. Lawyer E.J. Marco says, You're welcome to the news. The news details. Alo E.J. Marco, special counsel to Unam Dikano. April Biafra agitator. As reacted to the Lagos State Answers panel report, E.J. Marco said, Contrary to claims by the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, the report exonerated Kano and the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, of any involvement in the protests. Ejimako recalled how Malami had accused Kano of ordering Hypop members to burn down the palace of the Oba of Lagos. Malami had alleged that the hyper leader had hijacked the Ensa's protests. He claimed that the Biafra agitator took advantage of the Ensa's protests to create mayhem that led to the death of security agents. The Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, said can assist the protests through subversive and inciting statements. But the Lagos and SAS panel reports, as released earlier in the week, had no mention of Kano hijacking the protests. Reacting, Ejimako berated Malami of failing to mention those killed during the protests. Ejimako said, the report exonerated my client, Onam Dekano, and the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. If you recall, on October 22, a day after the last two years, after which my client pleaded not guilty to the seven amended charges, the Attorney General came out with a press release which he ruled out very wild allegations that were not on the amended charges. One of the principal allegations he made against Unam Dekano was that the ring leader in the Ensas protest pardon, was that he was a ring leader in the Ensas protest. He claimed that Kano sent his members, Hypob, to burn down the palace of the Hoba of Lagos. Malami made a lot of allegations against Unam de Kanu and the Hypob regarding the Ensas protest and was silent on the innocent citizens that were masquerade. Now, this report that came out has confirmed that innocent citizens as high as 11, we are masquerade. I have a copy of the report and I went through it. There is no single indictment of Unam Dekano or Hypop members. Concerning the Ensas protest that happened in Lagos, Lekki Togit, October 20, 2020, where unarmed youths lent out their voices to end the SAS put and end the SAS that were killing and doing all sorts of things to the youth. But the army shot shot them and this killed a lot of youths. And the Attorney General of the Federation has said that the Ensas protest was done by Ma- Unam Dekano and the IPOB members. That it was Mazi Unam Dekano that gave out the instruction and even burning down of the harbour of Lagos Palace. And Malami has failed to even list out 
the names of those that were killed during the protests. During that protest, a lot of lives has gone with the protest. And yet, the federal government and this alarming are not saying the truth. They are putting everything on Unam Dekano and the IPOB. But looking at the list that came out, it has been seen that 11 citizens were masqueraded and it has no traces of Mazen Unam Dekano or IPOB. About the lucky masquerade, Lai Muhammad, federal government silent on NSAS report. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Muhammad, has remained silent days after the release of the Lagos NSAS panel report. The panel has released its report in which it described the lucky target incident as a masquerade contrary to the hard stance of Mohammed. On October 20, 2020, soldiers had shot and killed some Nigerian youths protesting against police brutality under the tag NSAS at the Lekki toll gate in Lagos State. While the soldiers drafted to the scene to contain the protest, allegedly shot and killed protesters. DJ Swish had transmitted the incident live to the world via a social media handles. Following the incident, CNN, CNN had carried out an investigation in which it affirmed the killings of protesters by the soldiers drafted to the Lekki targets. This made Muhammad has denied claims that soldiers had shot protesters while accusing DJ Swish of trying to destabilize the country. Mohammed also claimed that some proponents of the protest used the alleged masquerade to print the president, Muhammad the Buhari led government, in bad light before the international community. In a series of press conferences, the minister denied that nobody was killed when soldiers invaded the protest scene. He described the NSAS masquerade at Lekki Togit as false, requesting for the bodies of those killed. Mohammed also maintained that the narrative by CNN that soldiers shot live bullets at the Lekki Togit in Lagos State was fake news. He attacked the widespread report as Phantom masquerade at Lekki Togit, which should be disregarded. This Lekki NSAS protest, the people that are involved must face the law because the lives of the youths that has gone will speak. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day.